My name is Erica Barker. I'm a senior on the cross country and track and field teams here at Indiana State University. I'm a communication sciences and disorders major with a minor in counseling. Aside from knowing that Indiana State was a university that was gonna allow me to prosper in both my academic and athletic goals, um, athletically, I was looking for a very close-knit, bonded team. That was something I lacked when I was in high school. And coming on my visit here at ISU, um, it was undeniable, just like, it truly is a family here, and it's something I feel so lucky to be a part of and welcomed into. I actually came to college with a different major, and when I realized that was not the program that I was really passionate for and I couldn't see myself doing something long-term with that, I found the Communication Sciences and Disorders program, which is just fancy for speech language pathology. And I took one class and I absolutely fell in love, and I changed my major my sophomore year. And truly, it's an amazing program. The faculty and staff are so amazing. I am involved in NISHLA, it is the National Student Speech Hearing Language Association. It is honestly just a group of all the communication sciences and disorders majors here on the undergrad level at Indiana State. We just come together about once a month and we just share our passions and goals, sometimes we have guest speakers and it's just a great community to be a part of. Um, aside from just volunteering at the help shelter every now and then, um, obviously through the athletics program we have a ton of community service opportunities. One of my favorites would be the Wabashiki cleanup. Um, personally that's a trail that the women's distance team runs on all the time. So being able to give back to the community in the way that it gives to us, being able to run along that trail and go and clean it up and just make it nice and presentable is just a fun way to give back. Yeah, so obviously academics is the long term and it's what's going to carry you after, you know, undergrad or if you're going on to a graduate program, it's what's going to carry you outside of athletics because unfortunately, unless you go on to the professional level, athletics is just a short time of your life. So it's important to me because I know it's what's going to carry me outside of my program here and it is going to shape me into um, a professional adult. In my downtime, I do enjoy hanging out with my teammates, going and visiting my family. Um, also, like I mentioned, volunteering at the help shelter, being around animals. Um, yeah, those are passions of mine. Um, being a student athlete is truly one of the most um, rewarding I think communities and groups that you can be involved in throughout um, your lifetime. Obviously that does mean balancing the role that is being a student and an athlete, but to me that does just mean pushing yourself to be the best version of yourself in both aspects of your life. Um, following my graduation this year, I will be attending a two-year grad school program in the speech and language pathology program, and then um, after that I will go on to become accredited SLP.